I'd like to share with you a meditation practice that I use to help me focus my mind on the now and to help me block out all of the myriad of random thoughts and worries that start to bombard me at times like this. So this is about fully engaging all your senses in what is happening right now. It's about sight, sound, and feeling. We'll take one sense at a time. Take your time. You can go as long or as short as you want, and you can repeat the cycle, and you can repeat it three times a day if you like. Just be aware and only describe to yourself what the thing actually is. If it reminds you of something, come back to your descriptions. If you have a judgment about it, come back to your descriptions. So let's spend a few moments just experiencing each item that you hold in your awareness. We'll start with sight. So like a photographer or with artist's eyes, start noticing one thing that you can see. And we're going to explore all its qualities. Notice the shape, the color, the size, the symmetry, the texture, the patterns, how the light touches it, and the shading. Let's take a second thing that you can see. Notice its shape, and its color, and its size. Is it symmetrical or not? What's the texture like? Are there patterns? Do they repeat? How does the light touch it? What is the shading like? Let's take a third object and notice its shape and color and size, whether there's symmetry, what the texture appears to be. Are there repeating patterns? How does the light touch it? What is the shading like? Let's find a fourth thing and focus on its shape and color. Let's notice the size. Notice if there's symmetry or not. Notice the texture. Notice any repeating patterns. See how the light touches it and what the shading is like. And for our fifth and final sight, Let's look at the shape and the color and the size and the symmetry, the texture, repeating patterns, how the light touches it, and the shading. And now let's move on to sound. Notice one thing that you can hear, and let's explore all its qualities. Notice the direction it's coming from the speed, the frequency. Are there sounds within the sound? Is it a big sound or a little sound? Is it rough or is it smooth? Let's notice a second sound. Notice where it's coming from and its speed and frequency. If there are sounds within the sound, is it a big sound or a thin sound? Is it rough or is it smooth? Let's search for a third sound. Find its direction and speed and frequency. Are there sounds within the sound? Is it a little sound or a big sound? Is it smooth or is it rough? Really search now for a fourth sound. Find the direction it's coming from, and the speed, and the frequency, all the sounds within the sound. Is it big or small, and rough or smooth? And finally, we'll find the fifth sound. Notice all the things you can hear within that sound, where it's coming from, its speed and frequency. Are there sounds within the sound? Is it a big sound or a thin sound? Is it rough or is it smooth? And finally, we come to feeling. Let's close down our eyes or at least bring them to a shaded place. 
Notice one thing you can feel. Maybe it's your left ear or your left big toe or something bigger. Explore all the qualities of temperature, pressure, and sensations. Let's find a second thing. If you're seated, maybe it's your bum. Maybe it's your legs. Notice all of the qualities, hot or cold or medium, the pressure, the sensations, the vibrations. Find a sec, sorry, find a third thing that you can feel. Maybe it's actually tension in your neck or your jaw or around your eyes. Feel that. Explore its qualities. Is there a temperature to it? Is there a pressure to it? Is there a sensation that's an itch? And now a fourth feeling. Seek out that fourth feeling, even if it's just a hair on your nose or on your cheek. Explore all its qualities, the temperature, the pressure, the vibration, every little sensation associated with it. And finally, we find a fifth thing that we can feel. And ask yourself, what are its qualities? What is the temperature? What is the pressure? What are all the sensations I feel? Now that we're done, ask yourself how you feel emotionally compared to right before you began this. Usually you'll feel more calm and centered, but if you don't, do me a favor and try to repeat the sequence and see if it helps. If you have the time, you can go over it more than a couple of times. The next level of this would be to ask yourself to remember and enjoy remembering your positive traits, skills you have learned, how to celebrate them, your ability to love, enjoyment you've had with a friend, your sense of humor. This all tunes your mind towards your skills and attitudes if you take it to this level. But I personally love just using the exercise to simply help me move to focusing on what is and not all my worries. It has really helped me, and I hope it helps you. Stay safe and be kind, even to yourself.